Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And I talked last week about one of the major things to look at if you buy a new PC. And the number one thing is it shouldn't freeze or it shouldn't blue screen. If you get that within the first days of owning a new PC, you return it immediately. It will be a problematic PC over time. Which comes to somebody in the uh, comments um, that I was reading talking about quality control and why are there faulty PCs in the market when you know there should be quality control done so that it prevents the faulty ones to get out. And it has to do with a lot of things. Um, when you do tech guy duties, you start noticing um, faulty PCs, but faulty PCs come in many ways. So, you know, quality control in a um, manufacturing plant will, of course, test the different components. So, you know, the, the motherboard will be tested. Everything that, you know, is, is, is in that PC will have some form of testing. But the problem is that quality control, you know, you can't spend you're, uh, you're, they're not going to spend, you know, like let the PC run for four days to see if it works well. Uh, that's where quality control is as its limits. It will see the immediate, um, you know, fault that is there from the start that is there as soon as you uh, turn on the PC. It sees these kinds of uh, flaw. So it will know when a motherboard is failing. It will know when there's other problems in the PC, uh, as long as it's there immediately when they test it. Problem is that there are several things that can go through with quality control thinking that PC is fine. One is, of course, a failure of components. So that means when it was tested, a certain component on the computer was fine. But after a few hours of use, it fails. And so there's that that will go through quality control without any problems, but will fail when a consumer starts using it. The other quality control issues are faults that aren't always there from the start. You turn on your PC, it can work fine for a few hours. Then something weird is happening. Some, you know, chip isn't working right. And it's not always there. It's going to be there, you know, once every now and then. So you can be running your PC for hours, things are fine, and suddenly there's a glitch. And it can happen one day, but it can be three, four days without happening. That's also something that will go past quality control because most of the time the glitch will not happen when tested. It's the equivalent of... Um, a tech call when your computer has a problem, but once the tech guy is there, that problem isn't there. Uh, so if there's no problem there, well, the tech guy cannot really see what's happening with the computer. So there's a lot of these things that could happen, and with millions and millions of PCs, there will be a certain percentage. You know, it's like in the industry when you work in uh, any type of industry, they always have a failure rate that is acceptable, which is as long as it's below 1%. And 1% of computer, you know, a manufacturer that makes millions and millions and millions of computers means that there's thousands of computers that are faulty. They'll go through quality control. Um, so it's not always something they could see. It depends on how, what is wrong, how it's wrong, and when it happens. Same with RAM memory. Um, RAM memory could be faulty, but if quality control tested the RAM and the RAM is faulty only at a specific um, environments, maybe when it's hot uh, rather than when it's or when it's running for a long time. Um, I remember uh, my sister having a PC that would actually blue screen or freeze. Um, every now and then, but not every day. She could be, you know, two weeks without any problems. One day it would, you know, freeze or it would have a problem. And it was a faulty memory module. It was faulty RAM. Yet, you know, you can imagine 
when the days that it works well, well, you know, even a test software might not see any problems. That's why when we do RAM tests, we say let it run through the night, let it run several days, because just doing an hour or two might not be enough to detect faulty RAM. So all of these intermittent problems are the ones that are going through and have a faulty problem. So that's why there will always be some PCs coming out with problems um, and not, you know, considering that also the fact, the way that the quality control is done, there all are also problems that could be very specific to a sequence of events. And they're not going to be testing every sequence of events, but that will bring maybe a, a whole series of a PC that will be faulty. And that series will have the same problem as long as a fixed number of events always happen in the same order. So uh, it's, it's a complex issue. As that's where quality control and, and the manufacturers try to keep it as low as possible, but they know that zero is impossible. The biggest issue there is when a manufacturer refuses to accept that a PC that you have might be faulty. And that is a big problem. There's a lot of uh, fights between consumers sometimes and the manufacturer itself saying, well, you know, it, it probably is your fault uh, when in reality it's their fault. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.